this is my 1979 Chevy Love 4x4 was a good truck to me very good truck still is a very good truck dash the interior just got a rip on the seat vinyl's all good so what I'm doing what I am doing today I'm actually fixing somebody else's mistake, which they didn't do right, or should I say do correctly. I took it to a shop here in Georgia, Polk County, and uh, I took it to a shop down there for them to put my timing chain on, which you can see right here. They put the timing chain on, but as soon as I crunk it up, it was pouring oil from here pouring oil from here I hope you can see that it's pouring oil from right there so if you can see they tried to rub glue around it right here to seal that part so I popped the head up I popped the head up yesterday to see what was really going on and they kept telling me the oil leak was fixed and I told them the oil leak wasn't fixed and I told them they just put glue around there and that's not going to hold and they we went back and forth back and forth which I am a mechanic and I don't recommend anybody to go there to Polk County Georgia the place is called Poor Boys in Rockmart Georgia so come to find out they took the head off and this gasket right here I guess they cut the gasket let me pull it down as you can see see that gasket it's supposed to have a gasket to go all the way around there it's a solid gasket let me show you It is a solid gasket. This is the gasket right here. That piece right there. And they cut it right here. For whatever reason, I don't know. But as you can see, they tried to slap gasket glue around here. And then wanted to charge me an arm and leg for it. I would have done it myself, but me working a 9 to 5, they got me working 6 days a week. So, I took it to them and I had to get a lawyer. And as soon as he found that out, he wanted to get my truck back. Okay. I've had head work done on this thing. As you can see, I had head and cam installed. It's pretty clean. Everything pretty clean. The truck will run as soon as I put the head and gasket back on. It's, it's a smooth running truck. I had put this brand new carburetor on it, but I think I'm going to get a different carburetor. But the truck is for sale. I'm selling it for $2,800. It runs. And when you get it, if anybody want to check it out, it will come with a brand new set of tires, which I have purchased already. And they're in the building. Um, like I said, the interior is pretty good. The frame is ex excellent on it. And um, let's see. Put a new alternator, a new booster. It's got little rust surface rust on it from I guess sitting out here but it's all this is brand new uh, it's got a new clutch I put a new transmission in it and flywheel and clutch this all that's brand new I put it in myself I installed it myself and um, the heads were reworked by a dude in Cartersville I forgot his name I think I still got the receipt he did a marvelous job on these heads and with this cam in here uh, I got the headers. I got a Magnaflow muffler on there on the bottom. Can't see it now, but all of it will be put together back together today. Hopefully in a couple of hours. Drink me a couple of beers and a little bit of Bacardi rum and we'll get this thing on its way. But stay tuned. Subscribe if you have any questions. Uh, you know, let me know. Like I said, it's 1979 Chevy Love. It's got a little rust on the body. Like right here, right here, 
but the tailgate still opens. Nothing's wrong with it. Very clean. The bed don't have nothing but surface rust, as you can see. The truck was taken good care of. And this is the valve cover that goes on top of the head, as you can see how clean it is after I have my head job. Everything is clean on this truck. And I'm located in Georgia. It's got a little body rust right here. Nothing that can't be cut out and the sheet metal back. But other than that, it's pretty solid. But YouTube, uh, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot of projects coming up. I got a um, 1963 Impalas coming up. Uh, going to North Carolina next week to pick up a 72 Buick Centurion convertible. That's going to be a good one. I'm going to put some 30s on it. And my Avalanche, a 2002 Avalanche, I'm going to put a lift kit on it. And I'm going to make those different episodes. So make sure y'all subscribe. We'll get drunk and have a good time.